we on our way to church. Get out of my way. We're going to church. Get out of my way. So I'm sorry. We're going to see Kiki. <laughs> We're going to see Kiki Sheard, Vashon Mitchell, James Fortune, and Zicardi Cortez. The United as One tour. This is going to be great. And they had our church. <laughs> Amazing. Oh if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm speaking of Lexi TV, a video entitled White Church versus Black Church. You have to check it out because it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you, Dundee. It's amazing. All right, I'm going to turn this off so I can get some of the show. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? This is your girl, Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous today. I I am doing well and I'm just excited to talk about this United as One tour. You guys know how I do when I go to concerts, any type of event. I always come back and tell you guys how it was. I give you little snippets here and there of the various artists and then I give my full review of the show. I had the opportunity to go to the United as One tour and this tour featured James Fortune and Faya, Zacardi Cortez, Vashon Mitchell, and Kiki Shared and it was hosted by Shecky Ducky, the comedian. And the crazy thing is my job called me and they were like, would you be able to come in tonight? We need some extra people. And I was like, uh, no. And I'm so glad that I told them, no, I cannot make it because I really needed this show. I couldn't think of anything else that I would rather do tonight than attend that event. And it was beautiful. It was a wonderful service. It was full worship mode. It was just awesome. Half of my makeup is off because I was crying. Like, I'm the type of worshiper a lot of people some people they have that shout worship some people they're very vocal some people they be crying I'm a cry worshiper okay it was beautiful it was amazing and to have all of those artists with beautiful songs and anointed voices and wonderful ministry and for them to be singing the songs that I just vibe to and I love and when you know my spirit is low some days I listen to these songs and it was just beautiful it was amazing so if you haven't heard of these artists y'all know that I am a gospel head I love me some gospel music if you haven't heard of these artists, I'm definitely going to put all their information down below where you can follow them at on Twitter, um, Instagram, all that good stuff so you can follow them. Hopefully, um, when it comes to your city, you can definitely check it out. But I knew I had to come because they were coming to my city. It's a compilation of all of them together. And I'm going to put a snippet of that in here. I didn't record the whole thing just because y'all know how I do. I just do little snippets. But actually, Shucky Ducky, he came out and everybody was recording and he shut everybody down. He was like, okay, I'm uh, you're not recording but I had my T4i right here that I record with because my other camera the battery was dead so I was like dang I gotta bring this big boss camera out here and it looks like a professional photographer is taking pictures so I know I look like kind of suspect because I'm recording the thing with this big old camera but that was not my intentions at all I just wanted to do little snippets so if I would have had my little pocket camera it'd been all good you know what I'm saying but it's all good but he shut me down he was like uh-uh close that down but it was all worth it but here's a little snippet of all four of them together coming out and they were doing some you know old school gospel um, do you remember this? And it was beautiful. And my sister here is here to hang in. My brother Vashon Mitchell, come on, praise God. And Zakarni Cortez, And so we are so grateful to be here to have the opportunity to tour across 30 cities together for the next six weeks. We are so grateful and we understand that we didn't get to where we are without the influence uh, and uh, from some incredible artists who have gone before us, who have inspired us. We just want to take a moment and pay tribute to a few of those artists and we're going to see if you know who they are. All right? All right. Yes. To the real, I know the
sing it after Kiera. You, you got to tonight. It it could have been me. And the first artist that came out was the Cardi Cortez. He made his debut singing with James Fortune and Fire. And you guys know that song, I Believe. That was him singing on there. And now he has his own album, The Introduction. You guys need to check it out. He was a sweetheart. And it was so great meeting him. And he was just a very wonderful spirit. And uh, he was just really, you can tell he's very genuine and down to earth. And I love that about him. And his voice, oh my God, his voice is spectacular. And oh. It was just amazing. The songs that he was singing and it was just beautiful. So Zicardi set was great. Shout out to all of the singers that were helping the artists. It was amazing because they give so much to the performance as well. Now as far as his name, I cannot remember it off the top of my head, but his voice is amazing. And I remember seeing James Fortune and Fire at the Lamplighter Awards. You guys remember that? Definitely check it out. I'll put the link down below. But his voice was beautiful there and I had the opportunity to actually talk to him. And he has a beautiful Beautiful spirit. After Zacardi Cortez came Vashon Mitchell. Now I love Vashon Mitchell just because his singing is like a Zacardi singing is like a down home go to your grandma church type of singing that I love. But Vashon Mitchell, he gives you that full worship experience. And I loved his medley. He didn't have just, okay, now we're going to get into Nobody Greater. Now we're going to do this. And it wasn't choppy. It was a full-on worship experience. And honey, when I tell you, Zicardi, he started us up. But I have to say, I was, I've was i never seen um, Vashon Mitchell in concert. But honey, when I tell you that it was crazy how the spirit was moving in that room with his songs at the end. He had to finish his set really really fast because it was like full on for like 10 minutes and it was crazy it was amazing it was beautiful turning around for me that's the song it was beautiful and that's like the soundtrack of my life right now I didn't get an opportunity to take a picture with him just because he was actually sitting and I he he was sitting and there were a lot of people surrounding him but I met him at the women's empowerment last year you guys remember I put a snippet in there and he was really really nice and he smells so good Mm -hmm. Yes, Zakari smelled good too. <laughs> but um, y'all know I have a little crush on Zakari. We're not going to talk about that. And next up was Kiki Sheard. Now, honey, when I tell you I am a Sheard fan, not just Kiki, her mama, her brother, everybody. I had the opportunity to meet her mother two years ago at Women's Empowerment, and then I met her last year at the Lamplighter Awards, and she is just beautiful. I loved her, but I never had the opportunity to meet her daughter. So tonight, I met Kiki. She had her CDs on sale. Honey, I have two of these already, but I've never had her to sign it. So, of course, she put to Tara from Kiki Sheard, and she was beautiful. She was so genuine when meeting her, and she was very, you know, kind of, thank you, thank you so much. She was very gracious and grateful, and I love that with artists. Her performance, honey, I've seen Kiki multiple times, but I have to say this time right here, Kiki, she a grown woman now. And I must say that her praise is something crazy. It's out of this world ridiculous. And I loved it. I love people that are on fire for God and they are not ashamed to talk about it. I love that. I love that. Last but not least, I must talk about James Fortune and Fire. I have seen James Fortune and Fire 5th and 11 times, but each time it gets better and better and better. I have to say he is the sweetest gospel artist that I've met. James Fortune, he's in my top five just because of how personable he was. I walked up to him. I already had his album. I couldn't, I didn't bring it with me. I didn't even say anything to him yet. And he was like, did you enjoy the show? Thank you. Love you do my James Fortune voice. Did you enjoy the show? Thank you so much for coming out. We appreciate you. Did you really enjoy it? And I was like, oh my God, yes. 
and he tweets back I appreciate that and I told him that and he was like no problem he was like be sure to tweet me this video so shout out to you for being an amazing amazing spirit and putting all of this together and bringing all these voices together and fire oh my god when I tell you my voice is out because I've been saying yes about 50,000 times but that set was wonderful wonderful set and I love that he opens up with never again I don't need it I love that so that's my joint if the United as one tour comes to your city be sure to check it out because it is an amazing experience you won't leave like you came if you come in with an open mindset just to get what you're supposed to receive and the crazy thing I met a couple of subscribers while I was there I walked in full terror mode I wasn't Miss P tonight I wasn't outrageous and crazy taking pictures and trying to be all this and all that I was was just me tonight and I met a couple of subscribers and shout out to you all um baby girl she had on a purple coat lord I told you to tweet me and I'm recording this as soon as I get home so I cannot remember your name but thank you so much for shouting me out it's crazy how I was in awe of these gospel artists and somebody else was in awe of me it's it's crazy thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it be sure to like this video be sure to tweet it with everybody you know if you love gospel music be sure to tell me down below who your favorite gospel artist is and if you haven't um, definitely check them out and please check out all my other videos be sure to check out MissP.TV if you'd like to advertise over there, definitely send me an email. A lot of you guys are sending me some messages, and I really appreciate that. We can hook that up. And if you would like to have your product or your brand in an upcoming video, definitely let me know. Send me an email, and we can work that out, too. But thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. And remember to keep God first in all that you do. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye.